Before we begin, if you're new here, welcome to my pack. If you don't want to miss any great anime from this season or previous seasons, and if you would enjoy them or already have an opinion on the subject, please consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's begin. Escapism. The tendency to seek distraction and relief from unpleasant realities, especially by seeking entertainment or engaging in fantasy. Now what does that specific word have to do with this video? Come with me on this journey and we will spread some light to that topic. Well, it's quick story time. When I was younger, I was constantly bullied and beaten down on a regular basis. So how did I cope with this and turn my coping mechanism into my passion? I started watching anime and consuming more manga than probably humanly possible, like a lot of us here, as a form to get away from my reality, and the more I read and watched, the more I enjoyed it. Now I don't really care what people think, and I'm a heavy otaku, you can either take that as a positive or a negative, but if you're watching this video, I hope you can relate to a certain extent. Research has always been a topic that in school, everyone hates, am I right? Well, it was a little different in my case because I loved gaining more knowledge, just not on the topic we were supposed to be learning about. So, when I first heard about an isekai that centered around books and knowledge, I couldn't help but immediately get hooked and find another form of escapism, despite not being that big into isekai. Ascendance of a Bookworm first started airing on October 3rd of last year with part 2 airing with two episodes out at the time of this video. So, so, so far, we have knowledge that part two of this wonderful slice of life will be covering the third part of the light novel, with the first part covering part one and two, meaning that this particular series would be considered a split core. Now, for people who are unaware, when a show is a split core, it means that when a series usually has 12 episodes, it will then break off for a few months before it continues airing again, meaning that part two that is out now is the continuation of the previous part one. Ascendance of a Bookworm part two is predicted to be a series comprising 12 to 13 episodes, only covering part 3 of the novel, with part 3 covering volume 4 of the manga, with no release date as of right now. Imagine loving books, research, and knowledge in general. One day you have no idea that when you wake up it'll be the last day in your old world. You're suddenly in a completely different era that you're used to, only with the knowledge of your past life. Slowly coming to realize the one thing you have always treasured more than life itself barely exists and only the nobility can obtain it in this current time zone. What do you do? Well, the first obvious answer is figure out what the hell is going on. The second being, if you can't have what you love the most, you create it yourself. Yourself. That's only one aspect of this beautiful story that makes it a memorable, creative isekai. Part 2, from what we have heard so far, before it even began airing, will most likely barely even scratch the surface of mine's story, meaning we will most likely be getting more seasons after the currently airing one, but we have yet to find out. Keep in mind that if you are an anime only and wish to catch up on the story beyond what we are currently getting, you will have to read the light novels as well as the manga, which at least for me was fantastic and kept me wanting more and more. Another Another aspect I realized about this adaptation is for part 1 the anime did stick pretty close to the source material with only a few minor details missing, which in of itself makes it fantastic seeing as a few previous anime in the past seasons seemed to steer clear off from the original story, trying to keep the show itself more entertaining. And if you're like me for certain series and you're not an anime only and have read the manga or light novel beforehand, you know it can be extremely irritating because it's not what you read before. All in all, part 1 of Ascendance of a Bookworm is fantastic and I highly recommend it if you have yet to watch it or read it. And part 2 is on air as we speak and is sticking heavily to the source material which is even better. What do you guys think of this series so far? I find it captivating as well as brilliantly done by Studio Ajio Do, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and I hope they really keep up the good work because I have no complaints whatsoever. 